I've got two problems up here on the board. We're being asked to evaluate without a calculator and get the exact values for sine of 15 degrees and cosine of 5 pi over 12. So, I recognize that neither of these is one of the three nice acute angles that I'm used to working with. In degrees, that would be 30, 60, and 45 degrees. In radians, of course, that's pi over 6, pi over 4, and pi over 3. Okay. But I want to see if I could build these out of those. So, I can notice that 15 degrees is 45 degrees minus 30 degrees. So because I can build it out of those nice acute angles, I can actually evaluate this without using a calculator. I'm just going to say this is sine of 45 degrees minus 30 degrees. And it looks like I'm using the difference formula for sine. Now with the difference formula, if I remember that it's just the sum formula with the sine changed, I can just go right to that. If I didn't remember that, I just rewrite this as 45 plus a negative 30. Okay. But I'm going to say, okay, sines were the social ones, so I'm mixing up sines and cosines. With the sum formula, it's a plus. So with the difference formula, it's going to be a minus. So it's sine of 45 times cosine of 30 minus cosine of 45 times sine of 30. All of those degrees. Do notice, because this one ends up being a subtraction problem, the order in which you write them is important. So this started with 45 degrees. I was subtracting the 30 from it. And so I did sine of 45 times cosine of 30 as my first term. That was the positive one. OK, excellent. So now I just need to evaluate these four values. I can do that. I'm going to just quickly draw my 45, 45, 90 and my 30, 60, 90. So sine of 45, that's 1 over root 2, and I've rationalized that enough to remember that that's root 2 over 2, times cosine of 30 is root 3 over 2, minus cosine of 45 is also just root 2 over 2, and sine of 30 is 1 half. Now, I do have a little bit of just arithmetic to do, okay? I multiply fractions by multiplying the tops and the bottoms, so the bottom is just 4. When I'm multiplying roots, I can just do the multiplication under one root. That becomes the square root of 6, and then minus root 2 over 4. I would be fine with you leaving it this way, but since we've got a common denominator, I think it probably makes more sense to just write that as one fraction, root 6 minus root 2, all over 4. Root 6 minus root 2 cannot be simplified. I can only combine these if I have like terms. To be like terms, it would have to be the same type of root, which it is. They're both square roots, but of the same thing. I don't have the same number under the radical. And neither one of these roots simplifies. There's nothing that I can pull out. Okay. So that would be my answer to that first one. Okay. All right. The next one, cosine of 5 pi over 12. Now since this is in radians, it's a little bit less obvious how I'm building it. What I find it useful to do is write everything with a common denominator. So I know pi over 6, pi over 4, and pi over 3. Uh, there's not a whole lot of room there. Let me, let me write this over here. Pi over 6, pi over 4, and pi over 3 are the three nice acute angles I have, I can express all of those in terms of twelfths. If I multiply pi over 6 by 1 in the form of 2 halves, I get 2 pi over 12. If I multiply pi over 4 by 1 in the form of 3 thirds, I get 3 pi over 12. And if I multiply pi over 3 by 1 in the form of 4 fourths, I would get 4 pi over 12. So by writing these all as multiples of pi over 12, I can see how to build 5 pi over 12. I would build that by adding these two. Okay. So I'm going to say this is cosine of pi over 6 plus pi over 4. Because pi over 6 was my 2 pi over 12, pi
pi over 4 was my 3 pi over 12. And they add to give me that 5 pi over 12. Excellent. But now, I can just use the sum formula for cosine. So that's cosine pi over 6 times cosine pi over 4 minus sine pi over 6 times sine pi over 4. I'm going to just simplify that above it because that's where I've got more room. Pi over 6 was 30. Cosine of that is root 3 over 2. Cosine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. Minus sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. And sine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. <laughs> now again, I'm going to need to simplify this. So let me just clear some space. That becomes root 6 over 4 minus root 2 over 4. So that's root 6 minus root 2 all over 4. Excellent. 